See how I was making that little bit of a commotion? Yep. Then I'll let it get to the face of the wave. So what'll happen is those fish will come over and filter in and around behind that bar where, where it kind of flows out. We found out in the early 1980s that the Coast Guard, who of course owned the building at that time, said, no, you can't, we, we know it's in danger, but we can't spend the money to move this lighthouse. It's 2,000 tons of building here, it's brick, it's fragile. We don't think we can move it. Buck Islanders said, wait a minute, we can't lose this building, it's one of a kind. Now they're pecking, that's a now he's pecking. <laughs> that's a woodpecker peck. They have two toes in front and two toes in back. Mm -hmm. right? So that's called zodactyl. Oh, you are a lucky guy. His... There he goes. <laughs> but you can see we're in fall, fall wildflower season. And so this is really important for all sorts of migratory uh, butterflies. For insects, this is the spot right now, this kind of meadow habitat. And you can see that when we look around, it's alive. There's bees working, the goldenrod. So we're at the, uh, the labyrinth on Block Island. It's actually a, uh, a place where people can come and just relax and chill out. It's not necessarily a maze. They're dated and they're stamped with a uh, shape of Block Island on them. Yeah, they're really cool. They're hidden on um, all, almost all beaches and trails. Very first al false albi I caught in the channel here was right in this area. Well done, man. Way to stick with it, brother. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> man, that was a hard-earned <laughs> fish, bro.